Uh, good everyone. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, my name's N Nichols, and uh, welcome to the show. If it is transformation that we seek, then it is a place where both victory and failure lie. The place of both victory and failure are the same place, and that is on the edge of human performance, on the edge of human achievement, and that is both a place of victory or failure, for in some ways they are one and the same. So it is that place on the edge of performance where all you must do in that moment is find discipline and be disciplined in that moment. And you realize that there is no other way to win. You have to be at the place of failure in order to win. So it is those moments when you go to sleep thinking, I can't possibly get through another day of work. When you go home and think, oh, you know, maybe this career is not for me. When you go and think, you know what, I really want this thing, but I just don't know how to get there. So how am I going to do that? There are just times in life where it feels like we are going to fail. That's okay. That is life. That is the whole point, especially in this informatic world. It is the privilege that we have that we're continuously struggling to succeed, but always failing and always on the edge of failure. And because we're cocooned by this society that gives us so much and so much opportunity, protects us so well, we can pantomime failure in a certain way, in an informatic way, without it physically affecting us. And in doing that, we have the privilege of failing again and again without significant consequence. And that is, in the end, the only way we can build ourselves, the safe way we can build ourselves in this modern society. So if you remain disciplined there, then you will find whatever winning is. But of course, you realize there's no such thing as a, a permanent victory. You will find victory, but of course, victory is not what you think it is. There is no permanent victory. It's just the path, and the path is just one of victory and, and defeat. That is just the path. So you'll find the path, and you'll become ambivalent to the victory or defeat. You'll realize that you simply must follow it, and there is no other choice. There's otherwise just wilderness, and there's a path. Once you've found the path, you'll just follow it and accept victory as defeat as just what must be. When you find that path and you follow it, you'll realize it is painful because you're continuously having to transform yourself and self-improve. But if it is just transformation that you seek on the edge of performance, then, then again, the victory and defeat are the transformations that you seek. And you cannot have the victory without being on the cusp of defeat. Because there's no other, there's no, there's not nothing else that would do that. If it's an easy victory, it's no victory at all. There's just an external victory or external validation, but there's no internal victory. You already, there's no transformation that comes without suffering. And in some ways, it's about the idea of mortality all the way down. The truth is, is that it's not that suffering is this terrible part of life. It is, but it's more just the fact that it's not intractable suffering. It's just there's a there's millions of little, or thousands, or there's countless numbers of little deaths and rebirths that we go through at least every day. So you have these tough days where you give everything you have, you integrate your, your knowledge and your lessons, and you wake up every morning and you're somebody a little bit different. Essentially, you've gone through the process of death and rebirth. Now, that will always be painful. It's a pantomime of your mortal death, of your, your bodily death and rebirth. That's just the way it is. You go through this cycle of death and rebirth every day. And perhaps you sort of do that in every moment. Every significant thing in your life causes a part of you to die and be reborn. That's just how we are. We're mortals all the way down. It's not a bad thing. It's not a good thing. It's just how the conscious space is constructed. It's how we, just how we, we live our lives. The problem comes when you don't realize that that is just how it is. That that preparation, that challenge, that little death and rebirth is what you're preparing you to, to have the, the legacy that you want to leave. It's preparing you to meet journey's end with a kind of pragmatism that allows you to make the most fulfilling amount of your current life. That is the path, the inescapable path that we all must travel. So to me, it's a privilege that we have to be able to fight these metaphorical battles every day and metaphorically die every day and be reborn as something more. That's the privilege and luxury we have in, informatic, in an informatic world where we're protected from true harm by the whole structure that cocoons up in our society, by the people and the machines that stand guard over us all the time. So that is why we do not seek neither victory nor defeat. We only seek to stand there on the edge of, of experience, on the edge of performance, or perhaps on the edge of tomorrow. We only seek to be there and to be disciplined at that moment and to maintain the discipline. And whatever victory or defeat, whatever winning comes from that, whatever winning is possible in life, lies there. So we don't run from that. We don't necessarily run towards it, but it's just, that is it. That is the place to be. 
like a boxer or a prize fighter, a MMA fighter. It's right there when you're within striking range, then grappling range. It's right there where you have the potential to lose and to win at the same time. But it's the fact that you are fighting that is everything. The fight itself is the transformation that we see. It is the path and the way, as Joseph Goldstein, Goldstein would say. It just is the way of things and it is the path. Well, all right. Well, on that note, uh, thanks for joining me. I hope hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.